out. The visually impaired users using Mac OS X and whether it's a considerable upgrade. Well, if you're, you know, used to dealing with Windows, it's certainly a different set of tools. Uh, what I'll do here for you is I'm going to pull my notebook computer over this direction. I'm going to have to adjust the Thank brightness a bit. No worries. Uh, so you may not be able to see everything perfectly. Let me see if I can try to get the brightness well. I'm going to turn on okay. uh, certain uh, features here. What they uh, term, uh, I guess, uh, their accessibility settings, uh, this is universal access. That's the feature you're looking for. It's sitting inside of system preferences, universal access. And right out of the box, I use this feature all the time, not being someone who's visually impaired, although you know my prescription, I'm sure, someday will uh, dictate that. Uh, I can hold on to the control key and scroll up. So on a MacBook or MacBook Pro, it's using two fingers and gliding up, and you can zoom in. So I'm actually going to zoom in here and show you up close. Uh, they've got a voiceover mode. Uh, you can turn it on or off, and then, of course, you've got a, a separate utility. They've got a keyboard shortcut as well. Uh, there's the zoom uh, feature, which it says it's off, uh, but I just don't have the keyboard um, uh, shortcuts for it on, so I can easily uh, flip those on. And I can also change the way it accelerates, so I can choose the, the, the minimum zoom and the maximum zoom, so I can get, I can get way close in on the screen. Um, I can also choose how it zooms in specifically. There are a lot of uh, sp uh, you know, other features like showing the preview rectangle, smoothing the images as I zoom in, uh, having the zoom follow the keyboard focus, having the cursor uh, you know, stay at the center uh, versus only move when the pointer reaches an edge of a, a zoom in. Uh, so there's a lot of, uh, in my estimation, a lot of features uh, you know, just that anybody can really use like with, with the zooming. Uh, there's also the ability to uh, flip the contrast. So instead of black on white, I can go white on black, which may help. Uh, I can use grayscale okay. when in this mode as well. So uh, those who are uh, colorblind may appreciate that. So uh, I can toggle that. I can enhance the contrast all the way up to a maximum contrast. So a lot okay. of settings there. Uh, you can reduce it uh, or increase it by uh, keyboard shortcuts as well. Uh, Mac OS X has keyboard shortcuts for just about anything. There are uh, also, uh, for those who uh, have issues with hearing, uh, there are right. uh, the ability to flash the screen when an alert sound occurs, which may also help uh, someone who's visually impaired. Uh, you can test the screen flash and just does it ba barely there. Uh, play stereo audio is mono, uh, so that, that would be system-wide. And then, of course, they also have mouse and trackpad uh, settings uh, that, again, may help uh, certain people, even if they're not necessarily impaired in uh, you know any kind of capacity. So that, again, is the uh, right. universal access uh, feature of Mac OS X, something that, like I said, I, I use on a very regular basis. Uh, you know, the zoom-in feature is astounding, especially when demonstrating something you know on video. They also have a, a zoom feature on the iPad, too, that you can turn on. There is a universal access um, control panel, yeah. I guess, System um, preference in no, the, the, the iPad. The iPad isn't. The iPad isn't exactly out in the UK yet. Not yet. It's coming. It's not out yet. No, not yet. It's coming. Uh, do you know when it's coming? Uh, I believe they just posted that information uh, yesterday. I, I think it's it's actually going to go on uh, order uh, tomorrow, Monday, at least at the time of, uh, of this particular recording. 